Are you fine, bro? I'm Are you fine? fine? Are you fine? I'm doing just dang. This is the second episode of oh. Oh. Hi, babies. There you go. Hi. 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 The second episode of Guilt Free Foodies with Dylan Squareberry. I don't know who this person is, to be honest. He just showed up Dylan. in my room. So, what are you doing here? Um, <laughs> and we have a new addition of our family, Violet. She is so cute. <laughs> She's really cute. Um, so we're gonna be trying today Dream Pops. They just came out, I don't know how long ago, but they just got them in Whole Foods like two weeks ago. Ingredients, uh, coconut milk. Mango. Well, this is the mango one, so obviously that'll change depending on They have on different that. flavors. They have chocolate, mango, strawberry. I'm sure chocolate has some kind of chocolate in it. Yes, it does. Um, okay, so this one is mango, rosemary, passion fruit, non-dairy, popsicle. Coconut milk, mango, passion fruit, coconut blossom, sugar. Did she just fart? Or was that you? <laughs> Did you smell that? <laughs> Did you fart? Baobab. You know what that is? Baobab. Tapioca. Rosemary, vanilla bean, sea salt. And then right underneath it, it says contains coconut, as if coconut milk didn't let you know. <laughs> but that's just allergy purposes, which I understand because they're under 100 calories, which is awesome. And they're low sugar, gluten free, soy free, dairy free, vegan. Um, yeah, and they're just called Dream Pops. I, I mean, I know you can find them in Whole Foods. Amazon. Amazon, their website. So check them out. But, um,. Let's try. So I wanted to do the strawberry and the chocolate. The other reason to do. And I'm gonna do the matcha and mango. Smells like mango. That and makes it's, sense. It's shaped kind Does of Does it? Cute. Cheers. <laughs> Ooh. All right. This is this, really good. This reminds me when I used to go to summer vacations. It is really bomb. When I was a kid, I need to order a virgin um, strawberry daiquiri. Mm. That's what this tastes like. Go heaven. Like, so 60 calories. I already had one of these earlier. 60, not this one. We, had, we had one earlier. I had 80. Yeah, strawberries. Five are. grams of fat, seven carbs, and five grams of sugar. That's pretty good. This has three grams of total fat. That's um, even less. Only five grams of sugar. This is really calories, good, you guys. Yeah. I highly recommend Eight this carbs. if you want to, like, if you're trying to swerve that sugar craving. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wait, let me see real quick. <laughs> I want to know the mango one. Yeah, let me try it. Wait. All right, come back. <laughs> oh, the straw, it tastes like a strawberry milkshake. Oh my God. It tastes like a, le like if you, you know when you go to like um, diners and then they have strawberry milkshakes and they're like really fattening? Like that mm -hmm. minus 100 mm -hmm. grams of sugar and that's what it tastes like. I can actually really taste the rosemary in them. Yeah. In this one. I feel like you can really taste mango, rosemary, passion fruit. Like you can taste all of those a lot. I honestly just want to take like, like um, like all four of these and put them like in a blender with some ice and like, we can make an ice like cream. almond milk or something. Make like a strawberry like. Oh my god. Like, that'd be really good. Oh like yeah, this is really cool. This actually has lion's oh. mane, which is a really good herb that's really good for your body and just like brain. They actually make lion's mane coffee. It's supposed to like boost your brain and do cool stuff. This is just the same ingredients, just with matcha instead. <laughs> A lion's mullet. <laughs> and this is 80 calories, 6 grams of fat, 6 carbs, and 4 sugar. How, much, how many calories? 80. Oh, this one's got 90. Oh, it's definitely out. So it's the strawberry has the lowest amount of calories. Yeah. Then this one's the matcha. He has chocolate. It smells like matcha. It literally tastes like a frozen matcha latte on a stick. Better. We didn't rate the last one. Crap. I would give the mango a 9. It's um, a 9. I would say it's a 9. <laughs> Strawberry is a 10 in my opinion. Okay, this one is bomb. Like, this is like 100 out of 10. Dylan. That's a lot of sugar, man. <laughs> and I don't know how much sugar now. Grams. <laughs> this tastes like um just one of those old school, um you know those the fudge sickles, like from when you were a kid. Like, it's got, it's like a little bitter, but not, not like a, with a bad aftertaste. Like it's, it's a good, um it's almost kind of like if you had like a, a chocolate bar with like espresso in it, kind of that weird, that like aftertaste that's bittery, but it's good, you know? Mm. I don't know how else to explain it. <laughs> no, I'm like eating down. Like, this Wait, one. hold on. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Hey guys, isn't that good? Mm. Thinking of like corn. <laughs> Actually, if I was gonna put any of these in a blender, 
That one. To make a milkshake or like a smooth smoothie out of first, it would be the, the matcha one. It's so good. <laughs> this one's like 100 out of 10 for sure, in my opinion. Yeah, sure. I actually like that this isn't too um, like, like milky ice creamy. I like, agree. I like that it's a little lighter and I like that this is a little bit like, like creamier. creamier. I feel like they all contrast pretty differently. Like they're all really different. Like they're not, which is good. So I think we've concluded that this so brand is really good. We're going, we're going 10. You said nine. Yeah, I said nine. What did you think about that? Nine. I, you know, I'd give it an eight just yeah. because my, in my personal preference, I love rosemary, but not really with sweet stuff. I like okay. it. I like I it that. cooked in with yeah, like, yeah, like sweet potatoes or something. Sweet potatoes, something yeah. like that. Um, I still really like it though. Yeah, Mangoes are really my favorite good. fruits. And then this. I feel like the mango could pop a little more, and the rosemary should be a little less. It's starting. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I just think it's not my go-to. Yeah. You know, uh, this. I don't know. I like this one a lot. Ten out of ten. I would give the strawberry ten out of ten. I'd give it a ten out of ten because it's really, really light. This is the yeah. light. This is the best one yeah. for like if you're trying to be healthy, healthy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's like barely anything in it. Yeah. Look. I've been trying to do this healthy thing for, for a good while now. I know I still have a lot more time to try it, but so far, this is the best dessert. I'm a fan. I think yeah. I've had that like actually stands with other and, like, regular like sugary desserts. Actually you know? satisfy like your sweet tooth, and I feel like you're actually getting like some dessert -iness. You know what I mean? Some dessert Yeah. Yeah. No. So I would say the chocolate is kind of nice as well. And there's lion manes in it, which is really cool. Not actual lion manes. It's, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's a herb. It's a hairball. So 10 out of 10. There you have it. We like this brand a lot. We think you guys should go check them out for sure. Um, and thank you for watching. And let us know what you think about, about this. And let us know if, you, if it satisfies your sweet tooth. I'd be curious to know. So, help up. Uh, yeah, guys, thank you for um, for watching the video. Uh, we're actually we really want to know what uh, desserts you guys like. So uh, go and leave in the comments. Um, let us know uh, what like you've healthy, been munching on. Healthy, fattening, not healthy. Whatever. Favorite flavor, um, favorite type of dessert, whatever whatever you want to say, just let us know. We're, we're really interested and we really appreciate it. And if there are any products that are like the healthy paleo that you guys want us to try, comment that too because we're down to try cool, healthy, vegan stuff. So just comment and let us know what's up. Thank you guys for watching.